when you ask that question, the jockey or the horse, and you say oh. you taught a class on this, can you just articulate for the audience here what that means? Sure. So age old debate in venture capital, it's are you betting on the founder and the team or are you betting on the big market and product market fit? Jockey is doesn't even matter what the product is. doesn't matter what the market is. You get the right person. They're going to just work and work and work until they find the market and, and they'll be successful. And the horse is, it doesn't really matter that much who the founding team is because you get a big enough market and you get a good product. You're going to succeed almost in spite of the founding team. And you taught this at Yale with Miles Lasseter? Yeah. I didn't know that. Well, we taught a class on venture capital and innovation. Got it. So what is it for you? So for me, it's obviously it's both. To answer your question, I, I, for me, it's really jockey. And I think we see it all the time, right? So these serial entrepreneurs, I know it's cliche, but when you bet on the serial entrepreneurs, so somebody who's been successful once before, you, got, you had Chris Allen, and then you've got Al and Andre Swanston. You're, you've got all these people who've been successful multiple times. Josh has been successful in multiple roles. And so somebody who's been successful once, they very often understand what it takes to be successful a second time. The data so supports the fact that the repeat entrepreneurs do well. That leads me to believe that it's really about the jockey. 